I'll mark some good loop spots on your map. Again, we have a game that tends to crash AMD GPUs and causes driver timeouts. But without much talking, I'm going to show you what worked for me. And after that, I'll give you my honest opinion on the matter. So keep on watching if you're interested and leave a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if this video helped. Arcraders was crashing for me after the tutorial and just by heading into the first mission. What I did is disable NVIDIA RTX global illumination by setting it to static so the game uses pre-calculated lighting instead of dynamic lighting from the NVIDIA RTX framework. Also, I set my frame rate cap to 120 as I'm usually recording for YouTube or streaming to Twitch and they don't allow much more than 60 FPS. After that, I was able to play around five matches where four of them were just ending miserable as I didn't even understand the people in my random group. But what's happening here? Apparently, Arc Raiders is using features that are not supported on AMD hardware. And for me, it is honestly to blame both Arc Raiders and AMD for the excessive crash that's happening. AMD should not let the drivers time out and pull down the entire system. Rather, send a signal back to the game, let the game do with it whatever, terminate, turn the screen by 180 degrees or whatever. Arc Raiders, on the other hand, should test your hardware before launching and find a setting profile that fits. It seems to do so for some parts, otherwise FSR wouldn't be available. Regarding ray tracing, I cannot look into the code, but maybe a translation to an AMD equivalent is missing here or they need to just disable it. Anyway, after 10 minutes, I was about to request a refund because I cannot be bothered anymore to spend money on games and then fiddle around with them to find some settings that work on specific hardware configurations. It's not the customer's job to figure out these things if your configuration meets the requirements of the game. At least, I hope this video helped. You can play a couple of matches, but bear in mind, it will certainly not solve all crashing issues on AMD. I don't know. AMD seems to be special in the last years when it comes to gaming. Got the feeling some work needs to be done on driver stability. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.